Hello and welcome to the NRDE video for Asset View in Sedsa. So in Maximo ID 9.0, uh, we are coming with this new feature for self-serve application that is the asset view which provides the entire uh, view of the available assets in the system. So in this video we are going to learn about new asset view and self-serve application. Second we are going to be uh, experiencing how uh, these new assets are available uh, for viewing in the self-serve application and how their details can be viewed. Also, <clears throat> if a user wants to raise a service request for an asset uh, or report an issue for an asset, uh, we'll see how to do that. So to start with an overview of this, My Assets provides a tabular view of available assets as fetched from the assets application in Maximo IT. So we have a few assets listed inside the assets application in Maximo IT. It's up to the user if they want to uh, include them or display them inside the asset view uh, in self-serve or not. So that is up to the user and that can be enabled and we'll just see how we can do that. So each asset information will be shown as asset, uh, serial number, description, location, and status. These are a few uh, fields that will appear for a particular asset in the asset view. And the user can view the details of an asset by clicking on the asset number. We'll see a tab tape tabular form where uh, assets will be listed. And by clicking on uh, an asset number, more details about that asset can be viewed. Also, from uh, clicking on that asset number, the user can raise a request for that asset, like by opening a service request. So this service request will be like fed into the system as a ticket. Uh, and tickets is all that the self-serve records. So uh, you can request for an asset like this, right? So uh, let's quickly jump on to our Maximo IT environment and see all of this in action, right? So this is our self-serve, uh, as we know. We have earlier we had report an issue and service uh, request only. Now we have this my assets view as well. So to view your assets, you just click on view assets. And this is the tabular form in which the assets are listed. So right now we have these a few. So uh, this is first column is the asset ID. And then is the serial number and then description what uh, that uh, briefly defines what uh, what the asset is the location for that asset and the status of that asset so the assets that are in active limited use or operating stage they'll be shown here so for example we can try one uh, let's click on this one and we are able to see more uh, more details about an asset. We can see the status, site, location, primary, whether or not it's primary, who's the user, who's the custodian, uh, what's the refresh date, plan refresh date, vendor, manufacturer, all these things. Uh, I can see all these details about this particular asset that is boiler. And suppose if I want to uh, raise a service request for this asset. Either I have discovered a problem with this asset, so I want to report an issue, then also I'll create on open a service request, or if I want to request this service, then I open a service request. When we do that, we are directed to the report an issue page. And this part is exactly like this, the same that we had in phase one, uh, you, how the user raises a ticket in self-serve application. So you can like... Uh, say here and it, uh, just give a brief description of uh, what your issue is about or what your request is about it's like whatever i i'm adding boilerplate needed and then i'm setting it the report by priority to high and the ticket type can be hardware and uh, i would like this to be serviced tomorrow and uh, you can fill all this uh, service location, your location site. So I'm logged in as Max Admin. So it's, it's uh, I, I am showing as a Max Admin, al although I can raise this issue for another user also. So I can add my phone number here and my email here. 
and we are here for any additional information you can put here and you can also add attachments here by clicking on this upload attachment button and then you click on submit so as you can see our ticket is request uh, created successfully i clicked on show details and i can see the details about my raised ticket for that asset so this is how you can raise a ticket so if we want to uh, say we want to um, make a particular asset available in the assets view so view asset application so we simply go to the assets application I'm hitting enter here to view all my assets. So these are my assets. So most of these are there in our view asset currently. Uh, I guess this one is not there. So let's try this one. I'll open it. Indexing drive assembly. So first of all, I will associate users and custodian from here. Common actions, associate users and custodian. There are no users or custodians associated. So I'll add new row here and i will select a user so for now i'm selecting myself that is max admin we have it we click on it and it's added and i want to make this user a custodian and a user as well they can be either one or they can be both so i'm making with both and okay and i am since this is a not ready state i'm changing its status to operating you can set it to limited use active uh, inactive like whatever uh, you want I am setting it to operating and then clicking OK so you see the record has been automatically saved now we will be going back and seeing uh, whether we got this asset or not 13145 so let's go back to the self serve to check whether our asset is now displaying there or not We are in self serve view, and it was one three one four five indexing drive assembly operating. We are here with all these details, right? So this is how you work with self serve uh, and my assets in the self serve. Plus, you can also uh, search for an asset uh, using the search functionality on my assets page. For example, uh, if, you, if I search here about, uh, say, centrifugal, I have, I happen to remember the description, centrifugal pump, see? So I write centrifugal and it starts searching side by side in real time. You can also search on the basis of uh, serial number, asset number, asset ID, sorry. So like one, two, three, and it displays the ones that contain this number. Or I can search with active. I want only the active ones. So I write active and only the active status assets come forward. If I want operating, only the operating ones come forward. This is how I can use this search functionality to search for an asset. I can also filter my results. I want to search for on, based on only one of the fields, then I can do so as well. I want to search only active status and I I enter active and I hit enter. It shows me only active ones. If I do the same with operating, it shows me the operating ones. You can just do uh, a search based on uh, just uh, any of these fields. So this is how you can start searching. And uh, once done, you can just click on clear all filters and you're back to the original table. So this was the view assets for self-serve application. So, so after this video, now you know how to view assets in the assets view in self-serve application and how to raise a request for a particular asset from asset view and also how uh, you can set a particular asset to be viewed in the My Assets page in self-serve application. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this.